What's up? What's happening? What is poppin'? What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another great edition of Summer with Nesby's Horse. I'm Small Bring Guys Daily Sports Talk. So if you're new here, if you're older here, you haven't already subscribed to the channel, stop what you're doing, leave a comment, subscribe, keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. The first one is to buy me a coffee to help you this channel. The second link is to shop the official Small with Nesby's It's a merch collection. Get you the classic tee, the wavy tee, and the flower dot crew neck. But y'all, if you have not done anything else, Turn your notification bells on because you already know the videos are coming like boom, 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 boom. And you don't want to miss a single video or a single live stream. And we will be live Monday night for the Birds of Broad Street podcast. But you guys, let's shake the ball balls for the G victory. Victory, baby. Woo-hoo-hoo. It feel good to shake these jaws again. You know what I'm saying? Um... That's shaking the pom-poms for our win over the Dolphins. Now, let's shake this G for being the number one team in the NFC. Victory! You know what I'm saying? Somebody tell her that I'll bet. Bet, bet, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody was talking all that she about the birds this offseason. You know what I'm saying? Once we lost TJ Edwards... Once we lost TJ Edwards, they was talking all that she, oh, the Eagles downfall. Boom, man, boom, you know what I'm saying? Y'all didn't even know who TJ Edwards was in 2021. You know what I'm saying? We lost a few little pieces, lost a little coordinator here and there, and everybody thought that she was over. But the birds are back where we belong, on top, baby. Number one team in the NFC, top of the charts, back in your hearts, you know what I'm saying? But y'all, shout out, I'm just so happy right now, you just why you gotta keep, you just why you gotta keep playing the game, you know what I'm saying? Because last week we was down bad, y'all, we, we, we was, we weren't down bad, we were down last week, we all know we beat ourselves in the Jets game, um, and the script writers was, you know, writing the plot, you know, the plot was getting thick for the script writers, but, <sighs> The birds came out and that midnight green, I mean, that Kelly Green just did something, y'all. That team was looking like the team we have been waiting to see all season long. We saw flashes, great flashes from the offense, but the defense might have been off. We would have a great defensive game, but the offense would be off. When they put on that Kelly Green, baby, all the ancestors, all the greats of birds pass poured into them and they came out on the field the best product we have seen all season long y'all the birds are for real and we are here baby and shout out to Kirk Cousins baby because Kirk Cousins was carving the Niners up now the Eagles are the 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 Dolphins lost boom down goes the Dolphins you know what I'm saying we did that ourselves then we got some help from around the league the Ravens just dismantled the Lions, and then um, Kirk Cousins picked apart that Niners defense. Y'all, it was looking too easy for Kirk Cousins last night. You know what I'm saying? When I saw Jay Jettas was going to be out, you know, when players was going down here and there, I didn't even think the Vikings stood a chance, okay? But Niners took a loss. Lions took a loss. Miami took a loss. So now we are the only 6-1 team in the NFC top of the charts but y'all that vikings you know it's so crazy it's so crazy it's so crazy okay because i had just bought my tickets to the eagles niners game first of all if you're going to the eagles niners game let me know that game is gonna be the birds of broad street link up game you know what i'm saying so the whole birds of broad street crew is gonna be out at the tailgate and out at that game so let me know down below are y'all gonna be at the eagles niners game but it's so crazy you know what i'm saying because i had just bought the eagles niners tickets and then what happened the niners lose that night so i'm feeling even better about the game because the way that the the Vikings was able to move on them um come on now <laughs> you know what I'm saying when Swift get out there when AJ get out there when Devontae get out there when Jalen get out there you know what I'm saying it's gonna be some it's gonna be some easy work you know what I'm saying but I'm just so happy because we're back on top and we're being aggressive still we went and added Kevin Byard y'all we should be hearing from Kevin Byard today in a press conference so make sure you have your notification bells on for Simone with the Spizzors so we can hear from Kevin Byer how the trade went down, how he feels about coming to Philly, how he feels like he'll fit in. We already know he's going to come in, sit right down, fit right in, okay? Um, but I just love how the team is still being aggressive, even though 
We have a lot of great pieces on this team. We just haven't been able to see it all together. Like I was saying, um, early in the season, it was so hard to judge Sean Desai. It was so hard to judge the defense because of all the injuries that we faced. But we have seen in the past three games – is it the past three games? In the past – what's the order of the games? I feel like Washington was weak. Yeah, the past three games. So Rams, week five, Sean Desai, that second half, the adjustments were there. In that game, we had so many injuries even in that game. We, we just brought in Bradley Roby, um, but Bradley Roby went down in that game. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the game. Reed Blankenship went down in that game. Uh, we had a lot of injuries already in that game. Justin Evans still being out um, and – the adjustments from Sean Desai in the second half, phenomenal. Shut out the Rams in the second half with Cooper Cup coming back, with Puka Nakua breaking all them rookie records, with Matt Stafford, all that. Then the next week against the Jets, defense locked down. I know the Jets are a weak offense and whatnot, but that was two games back-to-back -back where the defense <laughs> solid as a rock. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then we go third week in a row against the Dolphins. So the defense is really, really starting to solidify itself. Um, and we're starting to get healthy on defense. Sidney Brown came back last week. Um, um, Avery Blankenship is supposed to be um, back soon. So the deep Bradley Roby is going to be back soon. So the defense is about to be fully healthy for the first month in time. Y'all hear that right? Fully healthy for the first time. Okay? And that's what we was doing banged up. Now we're going to be adding Kevin Byard into the mix. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Come on, baby. Don't play with it. So we have a big stretch coming up of some bougie opponents. But we are playing our best football right now. So, woo-wee, baby! Watching that Niners game just put so much joy in my heart. Okay? Y'all couldn't have had a better week than I had this week Football-wise, okay, all of our ops go down, you know what I'm saying? We play our best football in the Kelly Green under the Sunday Night Lights. Um, <laughs> Brock Purdy throwing that game, losing interception. You just can't make it up because, you know, Jalen Hurts threw his pick, whatever. We already know the media heads was going to be talking all that G about Jalen. But now that Brock Purdy went and sold the way he was selling, they can't just be honing in on Jalen Hurts and talking all that G about Jalen Hurts. And Jalen Hurts had his, um, you know, tip ball that ended up being a pick six. But Jalen Hurts locked back in and helped us win that game, threw some bombs, threw some balls right in the – bread basket versus another quarterback who, you know, had a chance to win the game and ended up, you know, throwing that pick. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't talk about Jalen this week. Talk about another quarterback. But, y'all, let me know how y'all are feeling. Like I said, I'm feeling great. The trade deadline isn't even deadlined. The trade deadline is October 31st, Tuesday, Halloween. And if we pull off another move, it's going to be spooky season for y'all. Real spooky, you know what I'm saying? Um, Washington is coming up. How am I feeling about the Washington game? I'm feeling great about the Washington game. I know we went down swinging with Washington week four, but that was a, that was week four, y'all. And again, the team is about to be fully healthy for the first time. We're playing our best football, the most complete football we're playing, and Washington is not playing their best football right now. Y'all seen that G against the Giants, okay? So I'm feeling great about um, Washington. Then we have the little boys. Then we have the bye week. But we still have Halloween where we can still make a move. Do y'all see the Eagles making another move? Let me know down below, down below. But y'all, like I said, I'm feeling great. We got to ride the high, you know what I'm saying? Enjoy um, enjoy the highs. Enjoy the highs. But y'all, like this video, leave a comment, subscribe. Keep rocking with me. Check out links down below. Buy me the coffee at Feel This Channel. Shop the official small of the Spins or the Merch Collection. Until I talk to you guys next time. Bye.